Hey, what's up, fight fans? Coming up at UFC 282, we have the second most important fight of the evening. We will be discussing Patty Pimblett taking on Jared Gordon. Now, the seasoned American has won four of his last five fights, but for now, it looks like UFC just found a new easy target for Patty. Because, well, as everyone knows, Pimblett is clearly favored by Dana White. Though Gordon's results are good enough that there is a chance he could stop the Patty the Batty hype train. But if Pimblett wins again, he will no doubt establish himself in the status as a new Conor McGregor. Now, if Pimblett continues to win even further, he will soon get to that title fight. But in there lies a real beast, Islam Mahachev, who will already be waiting for him. Also in this video, we will be discussing all of Conor's problems. Judging by the current form that McGregor maintains without constant training, many are wondering, is he using illegal drugs? On this situation, Joe Rogan left some comments, so we're going to see what he had to say on his podcast. Now, let's go ahead and get started, but before I launch the video, I want to ask your support for our channel by liking and subscribing. We have very little left to reach 40,000 subs, so thank you in advance. Now, as you know, at UFC 282, Pimblet will be facing off against Jared Gordon, an experienced fighter who has won four of his last five fights. But so far, it seems that the UFC has just found a new easy victim for Patty the Batty. Although Gordon's results are still pretty good, there is an opinion that he is noticeably inferior to Pimblet. Now, on the other hand, solid experience does speak for the American, unlike the British. Jared has been in the UFC now for five years, and he has faced some many strong opponents. However, if Pimblet does win again, he will solidify himself as the new Connor. However, I think apart from the British origin and charisma, Connor and Patty have almost nothing else in common. The techniques, the tactics, and the threshold. I tell you what, guys, for as much crap as I talk about Connor McGregor, the only thing that these guys have in common is that they're, the fact that they're probably next door neighbors. You know what I mean? Like one of them's from England, the other one's from, from Ireland. But I don't see, I don't, I, I like Patty the Batty. I think he brings a lot of publicity to the UFC, but I just, he's not at that level. We gotta forget, we can't forget too that Conor McGregor, Conor McGregor at the time where he was at his height, he was able to beat some pretty big names and uh, he was able to do some specialties, obviously becoming a two division world champ. But for Patty the Batty, um, it is yet to be known. You know, Conor McGregor, I think, I believe his first or second fight in the UFC here, he had fought a Max Holloway and beat him. So that says a lot about Conor McGregor. Conor is a classic puncher who burst onto the UFC like lightning. A strong and accurate strike became McGregor's main feature in the octagon and, well, outside of the battles, Notorious hit with an incredibly aggressive trash talk. At the same time, the Irishman also has that muscular figure, numerous tattoos, and a constant change of image. So, again, I think that they're pretty different. Patty doesn't look like Connor at all. Now, that's nothing bad, but on the contrary, that actually could be to his advantage. Because, well, Patty is Patty. But this guy is ready to be the new Connor, because not every fighter will have the entire 20,000 strong stadium singing the famous, you'll never walk alone. Hey, Patty Pimlet got rolling now. I mean, from the moment he stepped into the octagon, we kind of had an idea that there was something about him. You could tell that he was a type of kid that people would get behind, but you didn't know if the performances would be able to match. Well, now they have. And the performances of matching swagger and the confidence. People are talking about Patty the Batty. It's making news. So things are good in the world of Patty Pimblet. But that's one thing has to happen though. He has got to keep winning. Because for as fast as this happens, it can all go away if you don't win. So times are really good for Patty the Batty. Everybody wants a piece of it, but you gotta win. You gotta keep winning impressively because as the competition raises, it gets a bit more difficult. But as it gets difficult, you've gotta continue to excel in those moments because people aren't just looking for someone to talk about. They're looking for people that they believe can be champions at some point. And right now, Patty Pimlet has all the world talking because all he's done is one. But I tell you, for as loved as he is, he didn't come to the Apex in his UFC debut and went in the way that he did. No one would have cared. If he would have lost, no one would have cared. For starters, Pimblet's main strength is wrestling. Yes, he willingly climbs into that wheelhouse, but it is in the stalls that he is most dangerous. However, many experts note that significant gaps are in Patty's arsenal. In both fights under the UFC banner, the Englishman almost got knocked out. However, he has a strong jaw and his fighting character saved him. 
But on the other hand, it is fair to say that Pimblet is still quite young and may still well grow as an athlete. His trash talk is even better than Connor's, but not quite as of aggressive. Yes, and Patty absolutely does not look like a fashion model. He has the appearance of an absolute country guy. I mean, just look at his hairstyle. But of course, this is all in a good way. And in the offseason, Pimblet corrodes to incredible proportions, explaining it this way that, I just like being fat. So it seems to many that the noise around Patty is of artificial origin, but the Brit assures that his popularity is absolutely deserved. People think that there is a lot of empty hype around me, that the UFC is promoting me, but it's not. I just give out the best content and the UFC uses it. I have the most views, I'm the new money cow. After the fight, people will stop talking about empty hype because I will put on a real show against Jared. I want to show that I'm just a few levels above him. That's it, Pimblet said on the UFC YouTube channel. Now, Patty is very charismatic and bright, and despite the incredible weight cuts, he is far from the glory of Connor, at least for now. But on the other hand, Pimblet does still have a long way to go. By and large, he is really just starting his career with the promotion. So if the Brit gets to a title fight, a real beast is going to be waiting for him there. Islam Mahachev. And when that happens next, it will be a completely different story, and now I don't want to spoil it, but we'll make a separate video about that later. Therefore, it is better just to return this back to the topic of Conor McGregor. So as you know, over the past few days, the world of mixed martial arts has been actively discussing Conor's problems. Judging by actual form that McGregor maintains without the constant training, many fans are now asking the main question, did he use illegal drugs? You know, like steroids. And on the subject of this situation, a comment was left by the famous Joe Rogan. He said what even Conor fans are thinking now. He takes off his shirt and poses all the time, and he looks like his test will melt a dope test bottle. It seems that he wants to burn through its bottom. So it's strange that there is a loophole in USADA's rules that allows you to get off the test list. You have six months, but if you've had an injury, then it's a smart decision, isn't it? growth hormone and peptides can perfectly restore the body. They seem to affect bone density. Although there are certain things that remain in the body for a very long time, he will not be able to use them. And of course, McGregor responded to Joe Rogan posting on social media, Joe looks like his piss burned through his underpants while posting photos of Rogan at ages 25 and 52. So many years in the organization and never fought. UFC give him a taekwondo fight. Call the cops. Now, Connor did write that on social media, but what do you think happened? Oh yeah, wait, you're right. Soon McGregor traditionally deleted it. Connor continues to just idly spend his time doing this. And without training, he is in a form that bodybuilders can even envy. In public, the Irishman always tries to bare his torso and show off his lean muscular physique. And in all, this once again just proves that right now, Notorious is unlikely to be able to pass two negative doping tests. But Connor himself is sure that he will pass the two USADA tests with no problem. I'm ready for testing in February. I'll pass two USADA tests and we'll schedule a fight, posted Connor. No one. And I mean no one in combat sports has had their legs snap in half and come back and been the same or better. Yeah. But that is all for today. So if you liked the video, I want to ask you to support the channel with likes and subscriptions. And we have very little left to reach those 40K. So please help us out. And again, thank you in advance.